Ah. Mm. Hello there. It's been a long time since I have been before the camera and today the reason why I am is that today I would like to tell you a story. A story of me last year trying to grow a butterfly. So last year I was in the forest and while I was taking the photograph of a bird, I saw a small worm just on the tree branch. So my brother was with me, so I asked him, hey bro, do you know what it is? And he was like, no, I don't. Uh, while in this situation, Google is our best friend. So we took a photograph of that worm and searched it on the Google lens. And we actually found out that it was a giant head swallowtail butterfly. Not a butterfly, it was a caterpillar. Okay, so it was eventually going to turn into a butterfly. Look, I have taken a lot of photographs of the butterfly, uh, but I never ever had seen or taken a photograph of butterfly hatching from its pupa. So that's exactly what I did. <laughs> I took it home and tried to grow it. So on that note, let the story begin. No fear, I'm standing right here, eyes peer with my mind clear, never look rare, only up, never down, off the ground till I'm found, hear the sound. I took the caterpillar home and I opened my laptop and read all the articles and watched all the videos which I could find on the internet. And I did that until I was fully satisfied and confident that I could grow it. So. After watching the videos and reading the articles, I found out that I needed a jar, a big glass jar so that I can put this caterpillar and my camera inside and which could be further used uh, for taking the photograph. So me and my brother took our bike and went in search for the glass jar and at the end we did actually found a glass jar. So the reason why we actually needed a glass jar is that we need to make sure it doesn't escape first point and the second point is that we need to create an environment or an ecosystem inside the jar so that it could be more comfortable than being in that side. For the next few days, the anxiety, enthusiasm, curiosity and and the excitement inside me kept me around the caterpillar just like a magnet attached to a metal. After a few days, the utility level inside me actually decreased and I was not that interested in that caterpillar because it wasn't doing anything. It was just doing the same routine of its every day. Then, Suddenly, I noticed that it was changing its color. It went from black to green and it was now like more fatter and more bigger than before. The next day, it has turned into a pupa. And I am like, wow. <laughs> it's so amazing to like witness that it is turning into a pupa. So I was around it for the next exactly six days. So after exactly six days, it's hatched into a butterfly. I know for some of you, it might not be a big deal for some of you, but it was actually a very special moment for me personally. I don't know how to describe the color of the butterfly. It was black with golden dots in there. And it was beautiful, guys. It was so beautiful that I can't take my eyes off that. I, I didn't want to take the photograph with so that I can I, I would miss my opportunity to watch that before it flies away. But trust me guys, it was way way more good looking in real life to see actually with your naked eye than the photographs which I took. Nowadays, I see that many of us are actually forgetting to appreciate the nature as it is because we are so busy in taking care of our personal life that we have no time to experience these beautiful miracles which are happening around us every single day and trust me guys it is really worth to pause and experience the nature around us because you know it is beautiful <laughs>